Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to this short tutorial in, in SketchUp. Today we're going to be reviewing the circle tool or circle command. Let's go and get started on this one. Here I've opened up SketchUp and if you notice up here on the left you'll see the the tools or the icons, whichever way you want to call them. Let's go over here to the circle. and come down here in the XYZ axis and just left click and drag. Very basic tool function there. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, if you notice how a circle, if you remember, cut. Let's just start over. Okay, here we are in the SketchUp program. If you remember from your geometry class, a circle is made up of several lines in the circular cut. Here we are in the SketchUp program. We're going to be going over the circle tool or circle command. Now if you go over here to the left right here, here is the icon. We're going to be placing this on the XYZ axis. It doesn't matter where you put it. This is just a good starting point. So you'll see I have my pencil with a circle that follows it around. I'm going to left click right here and just hold the left button down and drag. There we go hit the escape or hit the enter button everything is good here now if you remember from your geometry class a circle is just a bunch of straight lines put together and lined up to make a circle pattern such as this you'll notice all these different segments there's 24 segments here which is the SketchUp default now this looks okay if you make a small circle such as this which I'm showing here but if you make a, a larger circle like what we have drawn here it's a lot easier to see the the line segments there is a way to get around this so let's go up here and hit the back button if you hit your circle icon if you if you notice down here in the bottom left hand corner there's a number 24 which is like I said this the default that SketchUp uses we can change that to 40 we can change it to 60 just whatever you feel is comfortable with your drawing here's number 60 I'm going to type in I'm going to do approximately the same size circle let me get, get rid of that. Approximately the same size circle. Now you'll notice that is it is a much smoother circle than we had 40 sides. Now it has 60 sides. Let's get rid of that one. Hit the circle button. Let's see what happens if we put 100. Now you'll see that that's an even smoother circle pretty easy process there okay just for general principles in this video we're going to leave it at 24 and I'm going to write ten or twenty feet enter now that is a diameter of twenty feet not a radius of 20 feet, but has a diameter of 20 feet and it has 24 segments to the circle. Let me go back on this. I'm going to change this to 100, which is the sides. Go back over here and I'm going to just a random circle, put it in there. Now if you wanted to make a smaller circle, 
let's just hit that button again and there we go come on up here to the pick tool I'm going to highlight this hit the delete button if you want to push pull this to make a similar to a pipe PVC pipe just push push pull and pull it up you can make a make it look like a washer a pipe or monument or a hose anything like that that you would need let's go ahead and back up on that show you something else here I have a circle just a random circle I'm putting on there oops messed up there there we go now I'm gonna put another circle right here It has no special meaning to it. It's just, just a circle. I'm come up here to the erase tool. I'm going to erase this line. I'm going to erase this line and this one. And this one. Now do a push pull. Now we have some kind of weird looking circle here with a little tab on the side of it. I, I know you you. You need to get, I feel you need to get used to this circle icon, circle tool. You'll be using it a lot in your drawings. Practice with it, have fun with it, make all different kind of shapes. I appreciate you watching. Appreciate if you hit the thumbs up button below, subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.